The Ticket's Craig Miller with us tonight. Morning Musers co-host, 5.30 to 10, weekday mornings on The Ticket. Ticket stock is coming up this weekend, Friday and Saturday, at the Irving Convention Center. Craig, for those who have not been to Ticket Stock, what is Ticket Stock? Well, if anybody remembers Woodstock, and I know you were at Woodstock, it's a, a big celebration for our listeners. It's a celebration of the station. It's sports. It's fun. It's a weekend of big-name athletes. We've got Randy Johnson this year. Uh, free autographs. We have uh, round tables. We have concerts. It's just uh, we hope it's a lot of fun for our dedicated and loyal P1s. And of course, a big draw will be the fact that Fox 4 will have a booth there. Uh, I'll mm -hmm. be there a little bit myself, so uh, <laughs> stop on by and, and, and see us. We'll, we'll talk a little more about TikTok here in a minute. Let's get into some sports quick hits, though. Stephen Jones saying that the Cowboys might put the franchise tag on Dez. You guys were talking a lot about that this morning. Uh, might need to, to try to uh, you know get the franchise tag on Dez and then still negotiate a long-term deal. But w what's going to happen? You think Dez and Murray will both be Cowboys next year? Yeah, I kind of do. I, I, I'm positive Dez is going to be a Cowboy, and I think he's going to get a deal. Uh, yes, they may put the franchise tag on him early and then negotiate later, but I think by the time we hit training camp, he's going to have a contract. I just I can't imagine that Jerry, after the first great season in 20 years, and all the goodwill that they built up this season, this is the first offseason we've had where we're not complaining about the owner, the general manager, the coach, the quarterback. It's like everybody did okay this year. I can't imagine that he's going to risk wrecking that by upsetting one of his most important players and going into training camp with that kind of a soap opera. Big Mavs news as well. Uh, Amari Stoudemire now officially a Maverick. How much does that change the, the dynamic for Dallas, do you think? Well, I like it a lot just because they had nothing behind Tyson right. Chandler and Dirk, and they desperately needed somebody, another big body. And he can play both positions, uh, more of a power forward. Uh, I don't like it in that he's not a defender. And so Tyson Chandler is still the only legitimate defender that they've got on the front line. Uh, but, you know, you can't necessarily find a complete both ends player this time of year when you're kind of desperate for front line help, and so are about eight other teams. Uh, but bottom line, the move, is, it costs them nothing. It's very low risk, and uh, it makes them better, at least on paper. Back to ticket stock now, Friday and Saturday at the Irving Convention Center. The time wasters will, uh, will be entertaining, and you will be performing as well. What, can you reveal what your musical number will be? If we talked about it on this show, you might lose your FCC license. <laughs> so I can't really talk about the actual subject matter. But somehow you wouldn't, but yeah, we might. Yeah, that, okay. I'll be, uh, that I'll be singing, right. <laughs> that I'll be singing about. Uh, but I will say this, and, and it, you know, and if anybody knows me, they know I'm a showman. So my stage presentation is going to be extravagant, and uh, it will be memorable. I understand uh, that Fox 4 is also going to have someone there singing with us and we were we were really hoping it was going to be Clarice or Heather or Natalie but we understand that we're stuck with you apparently that is the case yes but that's okay because we like is it Mike <laughs> we like Mike we're big fans <laughs> thanks Greg I appreciate it all right Craig to wrap it up I thought I'd let you uh, live a lifelong dream you're a weather geek you've always wanted to be a weatherman mm -hmm. yeah, and there's a special guest coming oh, in to join right. us now ladies and gentlemen Craig, chief oh, meteorologist Dan Henry, Dan Henry. Yeah. Real weatherman. all right wow. well, Dan I, go ahead and show him how it's actually, done let Craig do it. actually the most important thing to remember Craig with this map is that Mr. Hawkeye himself will pay me ten dollars a weather cast if I work in the state of Iowa and he fifteen dollars <laughs> if I actually mention a city in okay. Iowa okay I'll so, remember that so remember that as you as you do and of course okay. uh, you just look off to the monitor here to your right either side or either okay. side you're going to offend one part of the country if you're blocking right. them. But, I got you. you know, just okay. pick, your, pick your battles here. Do I have a certain time limit? Or, yeah, uh, yeah. I go on for just, hours? And it's just about up. <laughs> so go ahead. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, as you can see by the map, we have a strong cold front that has pushed through the northeast. We're not going to be touched by that cold front, though. As you can see, mild weather moving in from the west. And in particular, if you notice, in Iowa, Des Moines had a chilly morning. There you go. We will have nothing like that here in Dallas Fort Worth. Very nice. <laughs> You're hired. You're hired. Excuse Excuse me. Me. My you can start. Oh, he's pushing the ass already. <laughs> We're out of time. Ticket stock, Friday and Saturday, Irving Convention Center. Craig Miller, thanks for coming in. Thank you.